through the prayers of our Holy Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. <coughs> Let sinners 
from the earth and let the wind be thee no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul, praise the Lord. The sun of the sun is setting, thou makest darkness, and is its light. O Lord, how manifold are thy works, and which thou hast thou made them
shields with God who saves the upright in heart. God is the righteous judge. May God let his indignation every day. If a man does not repent, God will wet his sword. He has bent and strung his bow. He has prepared his deadly weapons, making his arrows fiery shafts. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil and is pregnant with mischief and brings forth lies. He makes the pit, digging it out, falls into the hole which he has made. His mischief returns upon his own head, and on his own pate his violence descends. I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord the Most High. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Thou hast glory above the heavens, is chanted by the mouth of babes and infants. Thou hast found the bulwark because of thy foes, to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at thy heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast established, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou dost care for him? Yet thou hast made him little less than God, who has crowned him with glory and honor. Thou hast given him dominion over the works of thine hands, thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is thy name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 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 and to
sins, but there is forgiveness with you. Angels and men sing out thy resurrection. On the third day, O Savior, I
Taking one of the stones of the place, he put it under his head and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed that there was a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord, the God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac. The land on which you lie I will give to you and to your descendants. And your descendants shall be like the dust of the earth. And you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And by you and your descendants shall all the families of the earth bless themselves. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done that of which I have spoken to you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And he was afraid and said, How awesome is this place. This is none other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. The reading is from the prophecy of Ezekiel. And when they have completed these days, then from the eighth day onward, the priests shall offer upon the altar your burnt offerings and your peace offerings. And I will accept you, says the Lord God. Then he brought me back to the outer gate of the sanctuary, which faces east, and it was shut. And he said to me, This gate shall remain shut. It shall not be opened, and no one shall enter by it. For the Lord, the God of Israel, has entered by it. Therefore it shall remain shut. Only the prince may sit in it to eat bread before the Lord. He shall enter by way of the vestibule of the gate, and shall go out by the same way. Then he brought me by way of the north gate to the front of the temple. And I looked, and behold, the glory of the Lord filled the temple of the Lord, and I fell upon my face. The reading is from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom has built her house. She has set up her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her beasts. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her maids to call from the highest places in the town. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. To him who is without sense, she says, come eat of my bread and drink of the wine I have mixed. Leave simpleness and live, and walk in the way of insight. He who corrects a scoffer gets himself abuse, and he who repute, reproves a wicked man incurs injury. Do not reprove a scoffer, or he will hate you. Reprove a wise man, and he will love you. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be wiser still. Teach a righteous man, and he will increase in learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is insight. For by me your days will be multiplied, and years will be added to your life. We have this evening the celebration of our Lord's resurrection, as we do on every Saturday night and Sunday. We also have in the church calendar the Feast of the Icon of the Most Holy Theotokos Directress, which is the icon that's on our iconostas, decorated this evening with candles, flowers, and a drape. I'll read the story about the icon because we'll be singing hymns this evening uh, for this feast as well as, of course, for the resurrection. This icon was one of the works of the evangelist St. Luke, according to the tradition of the Most Holy Theotokos, saw it and blessed it. St. Luke donated it to the statesman Theophilus, for whom he wrote the Acts of the Apostles. From it was later brought to Jerusalem. From Jerusalem, Empress Eudoxia took it and sent it to Constantinople as a gift to the Emperor's sister, the pious Pauperia. St. Pauperia placed the icon in the church of Lacerne, her own memorial church. So, after all that, it's now in Constantinople. The Most Holy Theotokos once appeared to two blind men and led them to her icon in the church of Lacerne, there restored their sight. Because of this, it was called the Directress. The designation Directress means, uh, the Greek word Hodogonite, one who is the guide on the road, or may simply be called the guide. The Most Holy Theotokos Mother of our God is truly the guide for everyone on the road to eternal salvation. And you can see in the icon she points to her son Christ with her right hand. When the army of the Persian king, Chosaurus, and the Scythian king, Caron, attacked Constantinople in the 7th century, 
Street, Patriarch Surges, brought this icon out to the rampart of the city and processed with it around the ramparts. The most holy day of Pakistan saved the Christians. The armies of the adversaries became confused, the sea became agitated, the boats sank, and the enemies who remained alive fled. From that time, the commemoration of this miracle of the Most Holy Theotokos was instituted on the fifth Sunday of Great Lent by chanting the Alchemist hymn. During the time of the Iconoclast heresy, this icon was brought to the monastery of the Pantocrator, and there it was sealed in a wall. In the year 1046, the Byzantine Emperor Constantine blessed his daughter Anna with this icon for her trip to Russia as she was to marry the Prince of Chernigo Sevalod Yaroslavich. After the death of Prince Sevalod, the icon was inherited by his son Vladimir. Prince Vladimir took this icon to Smolensk and enshrined it in the Holy Dormition Cathedral. From this time, the holy icon was also called the Smolensk icon. In 1239, during the invasion of the Tatar Khan Batu, the most holy temple saved the city. Sometime later, the icon was taken to Moscow and placed in the Annunciation Cathedral. In the year 1456, as before most of us were born, Bishop Misiel of Smolensk and several noted Smolensk leaders came to Moscow to request the return of their icon. The second visit to Moscow by the icon was in 1666, when it was brought for cleaning, and the third visit was in 1812, before the start of the Battle of Borodino, and the icon was enshrined in the Holy Dormition Cathedral. Through the prayers of our Most Holy, Theotokos, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Thou save our Lord, and keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord. God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your statutes. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your statutes. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Despise not the works of your hands. To you is to praise, to you is to a song, to you is to glory. To the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and to me, to the Son.
coming to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, to <coughs> have ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, and ask for pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and into ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us all trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, so Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord, have mercy on us and save all the world. My strength fails me, and the light of my eyes has also gone from me. 
My friends and neighbors drew near to me and stood silently. My kinsmen stood afar off. Those who sought after my soul used violence. Those who sought my ruin spoke vain things and imagined deceits all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, did not hear like a dumb man who does not open his lips. I became like a man who does not hear and then whose mouth are no reproofs. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear me, O Lord my God. I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me, for with my feet slipped they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my affliction is continually before me. For I will confess my iniquity, and my soul is afflicted because of my sins. But my enemies live and are mightier than I, and those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. Those who render me evil for good slander me because I followed after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God, depart not from me, attend to my help, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God, depart not from me, attend to my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, early in the morning I turn to you, my soul thirsts for you, how often my flesh longs for you, as in a trackless desert land where no water is. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips will praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live, I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul will be filled with with oil and fat, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. I remembered you upon my bed, I meditated on you in the morning, for you have been my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul has cleaved to you, your right hand upholds me. But those who sought my life in vain, they shall be delivered up to the sword, they shall be apportioned for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God, everyone who swears by him shall be praised. But the mouth of those who speak unrighteousness shall be stopped. I meditated on you in the morning, for you have been my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul has cleaved to you, your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and into ages of ages, amen. O Lord God, of my salvation, I pray on day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you with my ear to my supplication. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to hell. I have counseled with those who go down to the pit. I have become like a man without help, free among the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, who you remember no more, who are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit in darkness and the shadow of death. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your ways. You put away my acquaintances far from me. You regard me with horror. I was delivered up and have not come forth. My eyes are weakened from leaving, Lord. I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades rise up and praise you? Who will tell of your mercy in the grave or your righteousness in the place of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the darkness and your truth in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out, O Lord, in the morning my prayer comes before you. O oh Lord, why have you cast off my soul? Why have you turned away your face from me? I am poor and in distress from my youth that was exalted, that I was humiliated and brought very low. Your wrath passed over me, your terrors troubled me like water, they engulfed me all day long, they overwhelmed me. You have put far away from me my friends, my neighbors, and my acquaintances because of my sufferings. O oh Lord God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you, let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the evils. The Lord works deeds of mercy and executes justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his way to Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate to merciful, long suffering. In abundance and mercy, he will not always be angry, nor he did anything with us forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, the Lord has confirmed his mercy on those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgression from us. As the Father has compassion on his children, so the Lord is compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows where we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, like the flower of the field, so he blossoms. For when the wind passes over it, it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels, mighty in strength, to do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, in all places of his, of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. 
Hear my prayer, O Lord, and hear to my supplication in your faithfulness. Hear me in your righteousness, and are not into judgment with your servant. For in your sight no man living shall be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul, he has humbled my life to the ground, he has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me, my heart within me is troubled. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all your works, I mused on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you, my soul long for you like a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit fails, turn not your face from me. Thus I be like those who go down into the pit, make me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you I hope. <coughs> make me to know, O Lord, the way in which I should walk, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I have glad to teach you to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. For your name's sake, O Lord, enlighten me of your righteousness, bring my soul up out of tribulation. In your mercy cut off my enemies and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Hear me in your righteousness, and are not into judgment with your servant. Hear me in your righteousness, and are not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, Revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love is everlasting. Glory to the Lord and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations encompass me, but in the name of the Lord I withstood them. God is the Lord and has revealed. Savior and mortal men placed you in a new tomb. 
you that by your word established the ends of the earth. Therefore the stranger of the devil himself was bound, death was totally despoiled, and those in Hades cried out at your life-bearing awakening from the dead, Christ, the giver of life, is risen and shall be forever. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Joseph wondered at knowing of your conceiving, which was without seed and supernatural, and he recalled the dew settled down on the fleece of Gideon, the burning bush which was not consumed, and Aaron's staff that sprouted. And he, your betrothed and guardian, testifying to the priests, cried out, The virgin gave birth and remained ever virgin. Being immortal, you rose from Hades, O Savior, and by your resurrection you raised the whole world with you, O Christ our God. By your might, you shattered the power of death, and you revealed the resurrection of all, of all the lover of mankind. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Gabriel, descending from the heights of heaven, came to the stone wherein lay the rock of salvation. Clothed in white garments, he cried out to those who were weeping, Stop your lamentations. Your desire has now lived. Take courage, for him whom you tearfully seek is truly awakened. Therefore proclaim to the apostles that the Lord is risen. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O pure one, all the angelic host wondered at your awesome, mysterious birth-giving. For he that holds all creation by his will as a baby was held in your arms. He that has no beginning except at a beginning in time. And he that in his ineffable goodness nourishes all creation is nourished with milk from your breast. Therefore the bodiless powers praise you, who are truly the mother of God. <laughs>
according to the apostles that you, O Christ, as God, rose, granting great mercy to the world. Hard as they have harried me since I was young, I call you, O my Savior, protect and save me. May they all be thrown into confusion, <coughs> gravid, who have hated Zion, be blasted by winds from the east like grass sprouting on the roof. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit, every soul is vivified, and by cleansing is exalted and enlightened by the Trinity through a mystical sanctification. From the depths of my soul I call to you, O Lord. Lord, may your divine ear listen to my cry for help. He that puts his hope in God is more highly perfected than those that despair. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. From the Holy Spirit, fountains of grace flow forth, watering all creation to generate fruits of new life. Let my heart be lifted to you, O Word of God, and not be deceived by the beauty of this world which pulls me down and binds me to the earth. As one is loved for his mother, then how much more fervent must be his love for God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the Holy Spirit is the fullness of the knowledge of God, contemplation of holy things, and wisdom. For through him the dogmas about the word were revealed to our holy fathers. Jesus appeared to be going further 
They constrained him, saying, Stay with us, for it is toward the evening, and the day is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at table with them, he took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them, and their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he vanished out of their sight. They said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us while we, he talked to us on the road, while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose that same hour and returned to Jerusalem. And they found the eleven gathered together, and those who were with them, saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road, and how it was known to them in the breaking of the bread.
For you, O thou, the Christ, filling all things, most holy Pharaoh, who will save us. You have cured the affliction of mankind, O Lord, and renewed it by your divine blood. In power you broke in pieces the mind that in ancient times broke the work of your hands, most holy Pharaoh, who will save us. The peoples were shaken, the nations were troubled. Mighty kings bowed in awe of your childbearing, O pure one. For my king came and overthrew the tyrant and delivered the world from corruption. The most holy Theotokos, will save us. Christ who dwells in the highest, coming down to mortals, sanctified as tabernacle, and established you as unshaken. For you alone, after bearing the Creator, retain the treasury of the treasure of virginity. Most holy Theotokos, will save us. With joy and fervor, I now offer the beginning of these praises, O Directress, and call out to you in a hushed voice. Rejoice, pure lady, and fill me with understanding as I take up this song. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice greatly him, the lady, hope of the Orthodox, virgin directress, great in hymns. You gave birth for us to Christ in eternal joy. Fill me with yearning for the joy of the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen, and angels in perpetual triumph harmoniously cry out together on earth and in heaven. O directress, rejoice, <coughs> chaste maiden, for by your birth giving you have filled all things with joy. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Directress, you who are the mother of joy, vouchsafe unto those who with fear cry to you, and have mercy upon all who flee to you, delivering them from every sorrow.
Do not abandon us who have always, who always hoped in you, but by your vigilant prayers, show us the compassion of your utterly meek, forgiving heart, and grant our souls the mercy which you pour forth unto the ages. For you are the one who defends us from the dangers and evils that befall us. As you are tender-hearted and merciful, hasten to pray. Be swift to entreat a birth of God, who ever intercede for those who honor you. No other help have we, no other hope, but you, O Sovereign Lady, help us to place our trust in you, and, th and through you may we be lifted up. We are your servants, let us not be put to shame. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Eagerly we cry out to you, the unassailable wall, fountain of mercy, warmth of prayer, and haven of peace. Go before us, and from dangers deliver us, O Queen, and say, O only swift intercessor. <coughs> Seeing you lift the cross, the Son of Righteousness, the Church stood still and cried aloud, Glory to your power, O Lord, Glory to your holy resurrection. You went up upon the cross, healing my passions by the passion of your pure flesh, which you freely put on. Therefore we cry out to you, Glory to your power, O Lord, Glory to Lord to my holy resurrection. Death died, O Master, as it deserved, for it tasted of your sinless and life-giving body. Therefore we cry out to you, Glory to your power, O Lord. Glory, Lord, to thy precious cross on thy holy resurrection. Israel said unto the law, did not know you, O Christ, as the God who gave the law, but transgressing the law, nailed you as a transgressor to the cross, thus becoming unworthy of the law. Most holy to the Pope, who save us. The virgin harbored the bodiless one in the body, partaking of her nature, the babe in her womb bears her humanity. Therefore he is proclaimed, so one in two natures, God of the flesh and mortal man beyond being. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The word of God came to dwell in you, O virgin. He was born without seed and kept you still virgin after his birth. He preserved you, O virgin, in childbearing as the Lord and creator of all. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, O wonder of wonders, sovereign lady directress. Rejoice, safe enclosure, joy of villagers and city dwellers. Unconquerable Christian garrison in the midst of troubles and victory over enemies. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, O oh rejoice, boast of the orthodox rulers. O oh Queen, the abiding perfection of Christ-loving soldiers, you are the refuge and strength of us all. O oh, directors, rejoice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, swift deliverance of all in affliction. Rejoice, ready comfort of all the sorrowing. Rejoice, lady, greatly hymned. Rejoice, directors, greatly revered. Healer of all the sick. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, O Directress, all creation rightly hastens to glorify your greatness. But unable to achieve this, called out to you. Rejoice, O Sovereign Lady, dwelling place which has contained God. Rejoice. Most holy Theotokos, save us. 
Rejoice for beholding and hearing of the great wonders you accomplish. We, faithful, are filled with every unseen blessing. Thus, wherever we may be, O Directress, we always sing to you, rejoice. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, dwelling place of Christ our God, home of his most divine, unspeakable glory. Rejoice, Virgin Directress. Rejoice, palace most magnificently adorned. O oh, rejoice, city that ever reigns, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. When we consider you the joy boundless as the sea, O maiden, chaste lady and directress, we ourselves all rejoice as we cry out to you, rejoice. And raising our voices in song, we ever await unseen gifts of God from your hand. Crimes. The good that it command, commands 
continues to be good. But we are no longer tied by an external and institutional law, by a written text. The person of Jesus Christ has become our law. It is no longer a matter of knowing whether this or that action is prescribed or forbidden by a text, but of asking ourselves, it, if does, asking ourselves, it does not, if does not condemn, does or not condemn. And it's no longer a matter of knowing whether this or that action is prescribed or forbidden by a text, but of asking ourselves if, if does or does not conform to Christ. This new law, Jesus Christ, the word of faith which we preach, is not difficult to remember or to formulate. It is not a remote text. It is not even to be found somewhat, somewhere outside of ourselves. The word is nigh unto thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Let us always remember that, unless it bears the fruits of holiness, belief kept safe in our heart is no more than an empty formula. And let us give thanks to God that we have been delivered from multiple and burdensome outward observances. He has established us in liberty instead of submission to the letter he asked us to act in a certain spirit in accordance with a certain meaning. As the Apostle Paul is making use of the text from the Old Testament, let us read the phrase again in the original and pay attention to the last words. But the word is very nigh unto thee, in thy mouth and in thy heart, that thou mayest do it. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, the Lord Jesus Christ our God. Mercy on us and save us. Amen. The children of Abraham and the Persians, burdens burning with love and the true faith, stronger than the flames, cried out from the midst of the fire, Blessed are you, O Lord, in the temple of your glory. Glory, Lord, your holy resurrection. Washed in the divine blood of Christ, mankind has been called to incorruption. He cries out in thanksgiving, Blessed are you, O Lord, in the temple of your glory. Glory, O Lord, to your holy resurrection. Very life and more fruitful than paradise, private in the new royal chamber. Your tomb, O Christ, is the fountain of our resurrection. Glory, O Lord, to thy precious cross on thy holy resurrection. When you were lifted up on the tree, you cast down the proud look and haughty eye. You saved mankind, O oh, praise one. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Most holy Theotokos, oh, save us. The fire of pure love in my heart draws me to sing and cry loud to the Mother and Virgin. Blessed one, the Lord of hosts is with you. Most holy Theotokos, oh, save us. You are shown to be higher than all creation, for you bore the Creator and Lord. Therefore I cry out to you, O oh, Theotokos. Blessed one, the Lord of hosts is with you. Most holy Theotokos, oh, save us. Rejoice, rejoice, O oh, birth giver of God, thy rectress. You who are always guiding all the faithful along the way to the path of salvation, Sovereign Lady, rejoice, for through you we are delivered again and again from the impending onslaughts of evildoers. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, rejoice, O Mother of God, Directress. You who keep watch in prayer for us before God, by your intervention you deliver all peoples from every evil and sorrow. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, rejoice, most holy directress, you who fulfill our petitions according to what is beneficial for us and ever desire, for all swift and genuine concord among rulers, now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, rejoice, O directress, you rescue the faithful, navigating ships in dangerous waters. You speedily destroy all manner of wasting illness and set people free from all their trouble. Stretched out his hands. 
quench the power of the fire, and make right and honorable all works of the Lord, bless the Lord, for your Lord can only resurrection. You stretched out your hands upon the cross and gathered all the nations to yourself. You showed them to be one church that praises you, those on earth singing in harmony with those in heaven. All works of the Lord, bless the Lord. Will the glory of the Lord to the holy resurrection. An angel like lightning, robed in white garments, shining with the unapproachable light of the resurrection, appeared to the women and cried, Why do you seek the living in the tomb of dead? Christ is risen indeed, and we cry out to him. All his works sing praises to the Lord. Glory to the Lord to thy precious cross and thy holy resurrection. As if he held you unjustly led to the slaughter, creation trembled and lamented. The earth shook, the sun wrapped itself in darkness as in a garment. But we sing your praises without ceasing, O Christ, and we highly exalt you throughout all ages. Most holy Theotokos, save us. The Lord of all who formed you from the rib of Adam was made flesh from your virgin side. We cry out and sing his praises, O works of the Lord, bless the Lord and exalt him above all forever. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Equal in number to the Trinity, the children who trembled in the flames with their, bo and with their bodies and were saved, prefigured your virginity, O maidens, they cried. All works of the Lord, praise and bless the Lord. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, most blessed Mary. From you, God, most blessed, truly robed himself in my humanity, and thus clothed, created an inexpressible union with his divinity, O virgin directors. Rejoice, lady full of joy, joy of all the world. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, O birth giver of God and guide. You drive away evil spirits. Rejoice, the the invisible hosts of heaven always glorify you, magnifying you as the mother of the most high God. Rejoice, for you have united things below with things above. Let us bless the Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Rejoice, O directress, rejoice. You are exalted by every single one of the heavenly powers. Rejoice, you gave birth to the God and Lord of all creation. O sovereign lady, greatly him. Rejoice, for you remained a virgin or pure one, even after you bore a child. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, glory of all women, most holy temple of our God. Rejoice, O directors, rejoice. You have brought salvation of soul to all the inhabited earth. Rejoice, sheltering cloud, wider than the heavens. Rejoice, repository of myrrh, full of the sweet ointment of the divine. We praise, bless, and worship the Lord, singing and exalting him above all forever. <coughs>
Lord, Lord, to the holy resurrection. You entirely assumed my whole self in a union without confusion. You granted me salvation by your passion on the cross, but you endured in the flesh of my God because of your great compassion. Glory, Lord, to the holy resurrection. As they beheld your open tomb and the linen cloths in which God would have lain, left empty by your resurrection, the disciples said with the angel, The Lord is risen indeed. Glory, O Lord, to thy precious cross and thy holy resurrection. The serpent stealthily took me captive in Eden, but you, O mighty Lord, dashed him to pieces like a child upon the strong rock of Golgotha, and by the wood of the cross you opened for me again the entrance to the light. Most holy God, O Lord, save us. We behold you, O pure one, shining as a rose among thorns, robed in the purple of the divine spirit, filling with grace those who magnify your purity of heart. Most holy Theotokos, save us. O Queen of all creation, bring the enemies of the church to terms, granting trophies of victories to your people, that we may magnify you as the Theotokos. Most holy Theotokos, save us. Rejoice, O candle bearing the unwaning light. By your birth giving you demolish the darkness of idolatry and set the people free from the abyss of hell. <coughs> there is a birth giver of God and guide, mediate us of every good. Most holy Theotoko, save us. Rejoice, living and discerning earth, from which the heavenly ear of corn sprouted for the faithful, delivering the whole world from soul-destroying famine. Rejoice, O directress, chaste the birth giver of God, which brought forth the vine of life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Rejoice, paradise, made beautiful by mystical flowers. Rejoice, mother and virgin, parent of God. By purity you have wondrously conquered the unseen intelligence. Rejoice, O maiden, rejoice, directress, hearing of you the whole world's marvels. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. By your help, preserve from harm the years of our lives yet to come, O chaste maiden, and vouchsafe a good end unto us who glorify you, calling out, Rejoice, most blessed birth giver of God, pure lady and God.
Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is on earth and in heaven, and he has exalted the horn of his people. All the saints will praise him, even the children of Israel, a people near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name with a dance. Let them sing praises to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He will exalt the meek and save them. Let the saints be exalted in glory. They will rejoice in their beds. The praises of God shall be in their mouths and two-edged swords in their hands. To execute vengeance on the nations and chastisement on the people. To bind their kings with fetters and their nobles with chains of iron. To execute on them the judgment that is written, such as the glory of all his saints. <coughs> all powerful Lord, you suffered the cross and death, and arose from the dead. We glorify your resurrection. Praise God in the saints, praise him in the firmament of his power.
surprised how you gave Peter to understand your resurrection by seeing the shroud alone, how you accompanied Luke and Cleopas conversing with them on the road. And as you did so, you did not reveal yourself to them, and you were taunted by them as though you alone were the stranger in Jerusalem, not knowing what had happened therein of late. But since you ordained all things in conformity with your plan of salvation, you explained to them that the prophets had said concerning you, and they knew you were the breaking of the bread, for their hearts were aflame for your knowledge. Therefore, when they came together with the other disciples, they proclaimed openly the resurrection by which have mercy upon the whole of us.
Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and come to ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Mother of God. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, who are Jesus Christ, our God, mercy on us and save us. Amen. 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 Amen.